tired of installing apps on your phones and on your laptops to block ads and to protect your devices today we are going to use AdGuard Home and the installation is super simple now we can use AdGuard Home at home it's completely free and it helps to block ads to protect our devices and ensure safer browsing with parental controls options and the best part no need to install apps on every phone or laptop because it works on the network level so every decision that I make on hardware home it will apply to everything that i've got connected my phones my laptops my smart devices everything and of course i can choose to give exceptions to this particular device or i can choose to block this particular device at certain time and block certain websites and services and so on and besides that after the installation i don't need to use a computer i can install the app of hardware home on my mobile phone and have everything right over here without having to go to a computer now there are several ways of installing and using hardware home today we are going to talk about open wrt and we are going to see how easy it is to install adguard home on any device with open wrt which is a software that it's common on any route that we can find on the market so if it's your case if you have any device like the nanopi or any other device with open wrt we are going to install really quickly and easy and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper let's go to our computer let's open our browser and enter our routers ip address in my case it's 192.168.2.1 if yours is different just use yours if we are on windows let's search for cmd and then right click and select run as a administrator if we are on mac just search for terminal and open it now on windows or mac doesn't matter uh, let's just use the terminal and type ssh space and then the username which in my particular case is root at and then followed by the ip address which mine is 192.168.2.1 one if yours difference just replace it with your own ip now if it's the first time connecting it will ask us to confirm the key we just need to press yes and then press enter and it will ask us to put in our password which we will do and press enter now we will need to go to the official adguard home open wrt installation guide which i will leave a link down below but i will follow up with what you need to do which is just copy and paste so once you go to that page you will find the area of installation and we just need to find the first command so that we can copy it into the terminal so just right click copy and then go to the windows or mac terminal paste it and press enter and it will update then let's do the same with the second line which is the op kg install adguard home just copy paste and press install and basically that is it adguard home is completely installed but we need to do a couple more things so that we can have a great experience just out of the box if we go to our browser and put in the router's ip address followed by 2.3000 we will find that the adguard home is right over there ready for the initialization but let's go back to the installation page and let's add those two additional commands so that we can ensure that hardware home starts automatically after the router reboot so we just need to copy those last two paste and that is it now if we go back to the Adguard home initialization page we will see that it's ready but it's giving us two errors on two ports the 80 and 53 now the first port is not problematic we can change to 80 80 which we will do anyway but the 53 is so let's go back to the installation page let's copy the script that it's there just copy all of it and then paste it on the terminal and that is it it's done now we have finished Adguard home installation now let's go to the page which is our ip address followed by two dots and three thousand and let's go to the configuration the first port we will select 80 80 and the second port we just leave it as 53 so everything will work great we just need to select our username and 
password and click next next and we are done we can now log in with the ip address followed by the port that we just chosen which was 8080 and that is it and if we want to check out if everything is working just open any browser on any device connected to our network refresh the web page and that is it we will see if we are blocking the requests appearing on Outguard home or not if not then bad news we did something wrong we will need to go back if yes then just have fun enjoy it and then you can apply the features that it has we can enable or disable parental controls uh, we can have the safer browsing option with NA security there's the option to identify devices or clients by name instead of IP addresses which is really easy so that we can manage everything and if you don't want to go back to your computer to see if everything is working correctly you want just to manage on your phone you can install Adguard Dome app on your phone iOS or iPhone and just put in the credentials that you have your username your IP address and that is it you will have everything on your phone you can enable disable filters you can block what you want you can release what you want it is really awesome. Regardless of using Adware Dome on OpenWRT or any other platform like OPN Sense or Docker, whatever we want, the interface will be the same, the usage will be the same. I just found that OpenWRT is something very common to find on devices such as this and even on routers which don't have the same capabilities in terms of hardware that this one has. And if you want to install Adware Dome on that particular device, then this is, in my opinion, the easiest way. If the video was helpful, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerta George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.